Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Coding has become very popular in recent years, changing from something applied in motion sensors and a regular mobile device to something that shapes the way that we live and work. This means that now is the right time to learn how to code for beginners. Almost all devices, ranging from electronic items to modern machinery and equipment, use programming and codes. As the number of coding applications grows, the number of coding jobs available will also continue to grow. In today's video, we're gonna look at what coding is and why you should learn it. After that, we're gonna move on to the most popular coding languages, along with some of the coding courses that will help you study these programming languages. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know if you find it interesting by letting us know in the comments down below. Now let's jump into it. So what is coding? To begin, we need to clarify what coding is. The majority of programmers would agree that coding is the computer language used to build applications, websites, and software tools. In fact, the definition of coding depends on what sort of code we're referring to. So for example, a web developer writes code used to develop responsive, high-functioning websites. And in this case, coding is building the best possible website. In another case, someone working in the automobile industry might require writing responsive codes for making sensors that could communicate with an autonomous vehicle. Although this is very different than building a website, it's still a type of coding. So before you begin, you need to think carefully about the kind of coding that you would like to do. This will play a big role in the type of languages that you choose to learn. You probably don't want to learn Spanish if you're going on vacation to France. You need to have an idea of where you want to go. As I mentioned, coding is an exciting new field that paves the way for many opportunities for people willing to learn. No matter what you may have heard, learning how to code isn't as difficult as it might sound, particularly when comparing it to the skills needed to get the most proficient jobs. An average person can learn the basics of coding fast enough to begin coding on their own after a few weeks. A couple of months of hard work will leave you fluent in at least one coding language. So now let's start the step-by-step -step for beginners. Now, before we jump into step one for how to code for beginners, I just wanna say, although coding is comparatively easy to learn compared to other technical skills, it's definitely something that scares a lot of people at first. Initially, it may seem a little daunting and something very difficult to master. And this is because most people don't know where to start from. And so they get overwhelmed. Now let's get into the fun stuff. We're gonna look at the step-by-step -step journey and how beginners can start learning programming from scratch and have fun doing it. Step number one, decide how you wanna learn how to code. The first thing you need to do before you start thinking about registering for online coding courses or watching coded related videos on YouTube is to ask yourself why you want to learn to code. Think carefully about what you want to achieve at the end of it, why coding is a skill you want to master, and how much time that you can commit to it. You might also want to consider questions like, what kind of skills do you want to end up with? For example, do you want to become an application developer or an Android developer? you need to give it a special consideration because it will fundamentally impact your learning curve. Why do you want it? Is learning how to code something that you'll just be doing in your free time? Or is it something that you would like to pursue as a career? How much time and money will you be able to invest? If you're only gonna have a couple of hours every week to dedicate to learning coding, then there most likely isn't a whole lot of point enrolling in a difficult course. But if you wanna join a challenging course with support, then you will have to be ready to pay for it. Identify and note down your coding goals and pin them somewhere that's visible to you. Step number two is selecting the right languages. As I mentioned, different kinds of programming require varied skill sets. So for example, if you want to learn how to develop a website, then you should learn languages like JavaScript, HTML, Java, and CSS. But on the other hand, mobile app development might require Swift for iOS or Java for Android. Java is known as the king of all programming languages in today's world. It's ubiquitous, versatile, and used in fields like Android development and backend development. If Java is the king of programming languages, then Python is the queen. If you'd like to learn Java's nano degree course, Udacity's course is the best option. 
On the other hand, Python is relatively simple language compared to Java. So starting with a course like Introduction to Python Programming or Interactive Python Tutorial would be great. And don't worry, I'll include links to these in the description. Also keep in mind that you should remember that selecting the right programming language is very important. And this is why you need to invest a considerable amount of time into understanding your preference for programming languages. Step number three. Download a code editor. Even though many online coding courses allow you to write code in a code editor directly in your browser, you need to understand that this isn't how it works in practical work. Once you successfully clear your online course exam, you'll need to begin coding directly into a code editor. So it's a good idea to start practicing now. Most programming languages have easily downloadable code editors. They're mostly complete with integrated development environments that will help you build succinct, error-free code. Step number four. Don't stop practicing. Once you start practicing your preferred coding language, you'll need to start building your projects and programs. Even though you'll have a long way to go, you'll be surprised how fast you progress once you start learning. The type of application or software you'll build will depend on the language you learn. For example, if you're learning HTML or CSS, you might choose to develop websites. It's important to note that practice makes perfect, which is the key to becoming a successful programmer. Step number five, Join an online community. Exploring the nitty gritty of learning how to code from scratch can be somewhat complex and overwhelming. And there will come times when you'll need support. For example, consider coming across a piece of syntax that you can't seem to understand. Joining an online coding community or forum will give you access to hardcore coders. This way you'll be able to interact with them and in return, they'll be able to answer your questions and help you overcome the challenges you're facing. So there we have it. In one way, programming languages are just like any other language. They need regular practice for you to master it. If you stop learning it for even a week, then you're more likely to forget things. So it is crucial to make sure that you keep learning and practicing every day. Don't fall into the habit of using the same syntax and programming patterns for everything. Instead, keep practicing and looking for new ways to do things and improving your techniques. And last but not least, stop procrastinating and go out there and start learning how to code. So a quick review on the five steps. Step number one, decide how you want to learn how to code. Step two, select the right languages. Step three, download a code editor. Step four, don't stop practicing. And step five, join an online community. As always, if you found this video interesting or helpful, don't forget to let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. So let us know what languages are you gonna learn by letting us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.